November 19th. This video shot by Houthi rebels shows the moment they seized the ship Galaxy Leader. 25 crew members were taken hostage. This was a cargo ship the Houthis claim is linked to Israel. But ship owners said it was British owned and chartered by the Japanese. It was one of the first of many subsequent attacks by the Houthis in the Red Sea. The events had led many shipping companies to avoid this route. Many ships have been rerouted around the Cape of Good Hope, adding an extra 10 to 14 days to journeys from Asia to Europe, and also adding significant costs. There are fears this could add to global inflation, a problem that the world has been grappling with over the last few years. Since 2008, Chinese warships have been helping to protect commercial shipping from Somali pirates in the Gulf of Aden. The Gulf of Aden is right next to the Red Sea. After finishing the missions in the Gulf of Aden each time, the Chinese Navy will sail around the world to familiarize themselves with uncharted waters, be it in the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean, or the Red Sea. In recent years, Increased funding for the Navy has also enabled a shipbuilding drive that expanded the Chinese fleet rapidly. According to the Pentagon's 2023 China Military Power Report, the PLA has the biggest Navy in the world. It has 370 ships. The U.S. Navy's battle fleet consists of 293 ships. Yet even as a growing number of countries dispatch ships to safeguard the corridor from Houthi attacks, China has resisted intervening with its own naval forces. China has instead criticized a U.S.-led coalition for adding fuel to fire in the Red Sea and Middle East. Foreign Minister Wang Yi, who was on a four-nation tour of Africa in January, said that the UN Security Council has not authorized any country to use force against Yemen, where the Houthis are based. Gongjongyao的是,要着手落实两国方案,为实现巴以和平。请问你,尽管中国海军实力雄厚,然后在红海附近的亚丁湾也有长期打击海盗的这个经验,但却不派海军力量来参加红海行动,以缓解呼地带
security of global trade. After all, China is a, a maritime trading nation. And it isn't just trade that's a problem. Under the Belt and Road Initiative, China has significant investments in Egypt, in ports, new cities, and economic development zones. Chinese state-owned company Costco holds stakes in East Port Said, and also Ain Sokna along the Suez Canal in Egypt. In 2023, Chinese companies also made plans to invest over 8 billion US dollars in Egypt's Suez Canal economic zone. This includes a $5 billion green hydrogen plant meant to export ammonia to Europe, a $365 million power plant, a $300 million iron production complex, and a chemicals production plant, among others. China has also been building Egypt's new capital city. Builders from China are nearing completion of what will be the tallest building in Africa. The 78-story tower is set to be the centerpiece of Egypt's yet-to-be-named new capital. This is one part of the new city that has been built by China as part of its Belt and Road Plan. This city will eventually house 6.5 million people and replace Cairo as Egypt's capital city. Chinese firms will also build a rail line connecting this to Cairo. Egypt needs crucial foreign revenue from use of the Suez Canal to pay for these projects. Egypt, their economy has been a very dire straits for the past few years. You pile this Red Sea crisis on top of an already shaky economy, and you can imagine that it's, it's in a very, very uh, tough spot. The United States has publicly asked China to use its influence with Iran to stop the attacks in the Red Sea. The Houthis are backed by Iran. They can ask, but I think it's overstating things. I think, you know, China's influence on Iran is not absolute. You know, whereas there are elements of the Iranian leadership that are keen to align themselves with the Chinese, there are also those in Iran who are wary about you know, becoming too dependent on China. So there is some dis some attempt within Tehran to distance themselves a bit from the Chinese. So that does limit the, the capacity of the, the, the Chinese to, to call in favors.呃，那个其他的地区的这个组织，那其实可能我觉得对中国国内也会有这种很简单的观念，就觉得说美国能影响以色列啊，就是直接就是以色列就像一个小兄弟一样，然后言轻计从的对美国。所以我觉得这种观